Now to the table saw. First thing I've done is I've marked a line here where the center of the blade is. Okay, now we got our figure from SketchUp of 13 degrees. But since the miter gauge will only go down to 30 degrees, we'll have to make a modification. I'll put a uh, 90 degree angle on it. And I'll, uh, then I, that'll allow me to set the uh, miter gauge to 90 degrees minus 13. Okay. Which will be 77 degrees. So we'll set that to 77 degrees. Now we'll put our square on here. And move it over like so. Now I could use this edge here as a fence. Since I'm doing a short piece, I'll use that. Otherwise, we'll get a longer board that we can clamp to the back and the front of the saw. Oh, well, maybe I'll do that anyway. Okay, so I'll bring this back and set that. In our 13 degree cut. Now the next thing we want to do is measure the offset. Turn the blade so we got a tooth right on that line. And then since we're cutting a piece of 2x4 stock Uh, we want to adjust that to half of that, three quarters of an inch. So we'll move this to three quarters of an inch. Like so. Measured perpendicular to this angle. Uh, it's a little off. Let's move it back a little. That looks pretty good. And next thing we'll do is we'll clamp this board down to the table at the back and the front. Now the, I've raised the saw blade up about a sixteenth of an inch. We want to make small cuts. Here's the block we're going to be cutting. And we'll start the saw. First cut. Raise the blade up slightly, about another sixteenth. Second cut. Raise the blade up by the sixteenth. Go 
another 16. Another 16. Go another sixteen. Go on again. Check the dimension, and it looks like we're right there, three quarters of an inch. And a quarter inch deep. That's it. And should be central if we set our offset correctly. If not, and you want it central, uh, just Take the block and turn it around, pass it through again. Yeah, just barely touching that way. I'll run it through that way. be central and that's it that's how you do a symmetrical cove uh, I won't get into asymmetrical coves at this time uh, you might want to visit woodgears.ca and Matthias Wendell has an excellent tutorial on the subject. He also has a angle calculator on there. The only problem is uh, he doesn't give you the angle if it's under 30 degrees. Uh, he gives you the dimensions of where to set the uh, back and the front uh, fence with relationship to the edge of the table but then you have to plug in all that information, how big your table is, the width and the length, and how far the saw blade is from the edge. And uh, It's quite a bit of information you have to put in there. And then it gives you the dimensions from the corner of the table where to set this angle. Well, I find it a lot easier just to use SketchUp to calculate that. Thank you. I hope you liked my video, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.